What's going on this week in Nerf? Welcome to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. I'm Adriana, and this week we have some new blaster releases slash availability and a smidgen more hyper news. Stay tuned for that. Colotion on the Nerf subreddit made a new battery holder for the Hurricane. Uh, instead of the standard two AA batteries that it takes stock, uh, they made a adapter to fit three AA batteries, which is honestly excellent for a slight upgrade without doing a full overhaul rewire. To be honest, the blaster barely functions on two AA's, so this modification would bring it to acceptable, child-friendly performance. And if you're interested in that, the files are available on prusaprinters.org and linked in the description. First, there was the spamp from Gavin Fuzzy. It's a Falcon Fire with 3D printed body kit on it to make it accept magazines. Pretty cool. And then there was the super spamp from Old Fusion Designs, which added a pump grip to it, so you don't need to do the top prime anymore. And now you can have a super spamp beautifully printed in your choice of grip, muzzle, and filament from Silver Fox Industries. It's $120 for just the printed parts or $175 for a fully built Super Spamp. They have amazing print quality, excellent customer service, a huge library of filament, and there's some darn good people. For some reason, I'm the only person on the planet who actually likes Top Prime Blasters, but you know, for everyone else, here it is. Link in the description, again, like everything. There's a new D-Dart in town, and it's the same D-Dart. <laughs> the Growler on Taobao is such a blatant rip that it even uses D-Dart's advert and the name D-Dart in its title and in the advert. Just bizarre. The only difference in the products is the rebranded packaging that says Growler on the side and the rechargeable battery pack in place of AAAs. Uh, just, just get one from Target. Just, just do that instead. Another thank you to Utter Travesty for a smidgen more of hyper news that everyone has been really asking for. Uh, he found the Hyper Mini Pistol on Famous Toys next to an infuriating Nerf confidential image. Seriously, how have we not seen these blasters yet? Um, so because there's no more information on this page, we don't know, is this a code name? Is it a hyper jolt? There's no way to tell, but everyone has been asking me for hyper updates. Uh, that, that's, that's what I got. That's all I got for you. Uh, if you want a little bit more name leaks though, Ultra Bravo is another one that was found on Famous Toys. And again, unclear if that's a code name or a real name or... Is it the same blaster as something else for some reason? It's it's all been so bizarre. But you know what? I don't I don't make the news. I just tell it. The Dart Zone Mark II is now available for purchase. Kind of. Uh, like many others, I woke up on December 1st to a Facebook message from Dart Zone saying that the Mark II has dropped on Target.com. And I just want to say that I really, really appreciate that Dart Zone messaged most of the people who had message history. Uh, that's just awesome service, letting us know that a really cool product uh, has just dropped. Uh, so this blaster is a really, really compact pistol. Uh, top Prime, 6 Dart Internal Magazine, and packs a heck of a punch. And it's clearly a very cool blaster, very desired blaster, because uh, on Target's end, it's been in and out of stock all week. <laughs> the uh, stocking issues haven't been nearly as bad as the Mark 1.1 launch, thankfully. I think it's been coming into stock nearly every day and just selling out somewhat quickly. Uh, I do think it will even out very, very soon. Um, but in the meantime, you can click the Notify Me button on Target.com. Uh, and while you're there, you might as well restock on Bamboos because those are now available on Target's website. Uh, it's a combination of 120 short darts and 120 full-length darts. Um, and the box is $30, which is a little on the pricey end, but Bamboos are pretty good darts. So while you're there, you may as well pick them up too. This blaster is seriously cool. Video coming soon. 
And now it's time for the mod of the week. And this week I got an email from Chicken for this blaster kaleidoscope. This is a 10 year throwback to the Power Strike 48. You don't see many people modding these things. Uh, so it has a complete rewire, 3S batteries, Valkyries, 42.5 millimeter cage and blaster parts wheels. The fake trigger now is a rev trigger, so it's not just on all the time <laughs> being annoying. Uh, they've converted the tubes to hold elite darts. Um, they've extended the draw to accommodate for full lengths while retaining half length compatibility or a mix. Yeah, the ability to just scavenge whatever darts you want and put them in whatever order you want is pretty freaking cool. Uh, the paint on the barrels isn't bad for their first time using a rattle can, uh, but I do think that the bodywork could use a little bit more love, uh, or maybe just paint over the joints to make it look like a, like a paint splatter. I think that'd go actually pretty nice with the aesthetics of the rest of the blaster. Uh, overall, very cool mod. Love seeing the, the more vintage stuff. Great job. And that's all the news for this week. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, the links to everything that I talked about are down in the description, so you can buy a Super Spam for Mark II, uh, do, do the thing. Uh, also, while you're down there, do the other thing, the like, subscribe, uh, all that jazz that makes me happy. And it's the outro, and I'm going to be a little bit selfish. The news is over, so I'm going to talk... I'm gonna talk about me. I'm gonna talk about Foam Blast. We just recently finished a huge worker restock, so almost everything is in stock right now, which is awesome. I feel like a real store. Uh, also, we just set up gift cards, so Christmas time, gift cards. Pretty great. Tell your parents, because they probably, uh, they, they, they probably don't know what kind of thing to get. It's all very confusing. It's it's confusing for everyone sometimes, I think. I never think about how to end these. That's confusing for me, personally. Endings. Never want to go away. Never want to leave you. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna... I don't remember the, the Rickroll song. <laughs>